Uh, this is my microcontroller based uh, control algorithm. This is a continuous rotation servo. It's being powered right here. I just have one signal wire going back to this little itty bitty microcontroller board. This microcontroller board is connected back to this microcontroller board via I squared C. And so this one is then connected via UART to computer. MATLAB is running the code. And so what have we got here? Well, this microcontroller is connected via I squared C. So this is both an I squared C master and slave. As a master, it is connected to this magnetometer. Magnetometer is XYZ, and I'm using X and Y to measure the magnetic field. On my servo, I have taped hastily a um, magnet, and actually the magnetometer can't be too much closer than this or too much further away than this. Otherwise, we either lose the signal or it freaks out because it saturates it. It's a continuous rotation servo, and so it can spin either way. And right now, you can see it's, it's twitching because it actually is it actually is being controlled directly. And if I rotate this, it's being controlled by that magnetic um, Hall effect sensor by that microcontroller there. Okay, so the whole point is that I can go to MATLAB now, talk to that microcontroller, which talks to that microcontroller, which talks to that servo, and that that magnetometer, I can tell it to go to a specific angle. So for example, let me comment one more thing here and save. And I can come here and you can see the code, but I can tell it to go to uh, a number of degrees, so 100 degrees. Okay, so that just rotated. Let me do that again. So that was 100 degrees. I can go to 10 degrees. There's 10 degrees. I can even go to 360 degrees. And you notice it didn't go through 360 to get there. It only went the 10 degrees to get to 360. I can also send it to 0 degrees. And it'll stay the same. Why? Because 0 and 360 are the same. I can also send it something like... Um, something outside the degree range. So let's do 380 degrees. And that one I believe sets it to neutral or turns off the microcontroller. If I send something like 450 degrees, this one either sends it to neutral or, um, I'm not sure which one that one is, but one of them is just sends neutral signal. And so it doesn't move. The other one sends a lock signal. So it doesn't, so it does that. I can also send it um, so I'm going to send it 550 degrees. What 550 degrees is going to do is it's going to rotate until a limit switch hits. Now I don't have the limit switch hits hitting, so it's just going to spin. If I do 650, it's going to spin the opposite direction until a limit switch is hit. And I don't have that limit switch hit, so that's something I still need to test. And so we send it back to neutral.